Good morning. My name is Sebastian Johnson, and I'm a senior at Jesuit High School. Last year, I had a lot of thinking to do, as I had to decide whether or not to attend something I had never done before. I thought to myself that there was no way a trip like this would be something meaningful. I constantly debated whether to go because I did not feel like spending a week somewhere I had never heard of before and giving a week up of tennis training. I kept repeating, what could be exciting about Jasper, Georgia? It's in the middle of nowhere. The only exciting part of this trip would be the last day where we go white water rafting and zip lining. I constantly consulted with my parents, asking them if I should go. This was practical. My motivation did not go past my college application and more service hours. But maybe I would be surprised on what I would experience. So I stopped complaining and committed to the trip. We arrived at Jesuit early on July 15th with all of our luggage waiting to embark on this journey. 27 kids stood there waiting eagerly to get the best seat on the bus for the long eight hour car ride. Soon after, we packed up the vans and we were off. As we got to where we would be staying, it finally sunk in that we were in Jasper, Georgia. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad after all. The air was cool and crisp, the mountains seemed endless, and the rolling hills were as green as possible. The following day, we awoke for a new adventure. A local family who has known Jesuit students for years invited us to their lake. I could not believe how peaceful it was. The family allowed us to use their kayaks, paddle boards, and floats. They made us feel at home. It was something I had never experienced. Everything was perfect. The water and mountains looked like, like, looked like they were from a painting. However, it was the second day that was the authentic experience of the trip. I was assigned to cut grass at a woman's house not too far from where we were staying. When I got to her house, I could see how some people truly lived. Her house was run down and the grass reached just below our knees. After she finished telling us what she wanted done for her lawn care, I was stunned. She started talking about her story, which was why we were there and why she needed our help. Her husband had died two years ago and her grandson had tr trouble finding work because he did not have a car. At that moment, I felt for the first time what service is all about. Thus, the word service is always said at Jesuit, but how many of us fully embrace that and give our total effort to those in need? An example of this would be if any of you guys were doing any volunteer work. You should spend that extra hour or 30 minutes performing something additional to create change in someone's life. I feel like a lot of us go to perform a service and just leave quickly to get our hours. I would be lying if I said I've never done this, but I'm striving to live by this because I now have an idea on how we should live life. However, there's more that made up this trip than performing service for others. There was brotherhood. The first few days we were there, I was unsure who I would hang out with the most. Of course, I practically knew everybody there, besides some of the sophomores, but I was never really, really close with any of them. As time went on, I was able to connect more closely with everyone. I felt like there was a genuine friendship at the cabin. We also got to learn a lot more about each other and reflect on the day when Mr. Alvarez would bring all of us together every night so we could pray. Everything fell into place. There are many events that were some of the best moments and helped everybody grow stronger together. Sometimes it was the small things like our daily Walmart runs to get breakfast for the next day. Everyone going to Walmart to charge their phones and buy portable chargers because they were worried their phones would die because a storm knocked out the power. Or grilling kebabs at 10 o'clock at night so the chicken would not go bad. And at other times it was running in the rain, trying not to slip and fall on our way to mass I'll never forget watching Mr. Noya set the grill on fire when he cooked bacon for breakfast. Through all this, I learned more than just doing lawn care for someone or hanging out with friends and playing ping pong for hours. This trip taught me about going the extra mile for someone besides myself and doing that work wholeheartedly with your brothers alongside you. By our heads for prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward, save that unknowing that I'm doing your will. Amen. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you.